What's going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Touch Ninja and we are spinning and it's time for April Favorites featuring Toby. Not really though, he just decided to hang around and chill. So you can run off now if you want or you can stay. What do you think? Stay? Okay. But <laughs> a bit dizzy after that little spin right there. Anyway, so like I said, Toby decided to go run off and do his own dog things because apparently that's more fun than helping us shoot top five favorites of the month but anyways like I said uh, this is the monthly segment of mine just showing you guys some of the stuff that I've been using for about the last month we've done two episodes so far and you guys generally seem to like it so we decided to keep it going strong and we'll start off at number five this is the Rocket Tech USB SD card reader so it looks like a standard just USB that everyone has uh, but what this one is designed for is inserting SD cards and micro SD cards so I do a lot of capturing via camera I'm using I'm shooting this video with a Sony FS100 and sometimes I actually use my digital SLR which is a Nikon D7100 when I'm traveling and in order to get the footage onto a computer you have to copy and paste it through an SD card and what I've been using before is this verbatim general one that has four, four or five different slots, but you really don't, I don't really don't need that. Um, but you can see right there, it's just kind of cumbersome to carry around, it has this long wire that's just always in the way. Uh, so what I like about this is just, it has USB 3, so transfers are as fast as you're gonna get on a portable device. Um, not counting Thunderbolt, but Thunderbolt's just, ridiculously expensive uh, so it uses USB 3.0 and the SD card just flips on the back that's how you close it you can protect the uh, the port if you want with just a little, little flip around shield you can actually also remove the shield if you want so yeah and then the SD card just goes in the back like this and there's a slot for the SD card as well as a micro SD card so I find that's just general to have so and it's only like 10 bucks and it's just so much more portable and easier to use than what I was using before. I've used it like six times already this month, so definitely warranted to be in the top five. It comes in at like $10 on Amazon, Amazon so uh, you guys can check out the link if you want more information. So yeah, that's number five, we'll move on. All right, so coming in at number four, we actually have another Jack Black item. Once again, something that I picked up during my travels with Tara through the mall and at Sephora looking through like the five foot section that is dedicated for the men. And I saw this. So this is actually called the Jack Black Pure Clean Daily Face Cleanser. Um, I've actually tried two of them. I've tried this one that had like a volcanic ash. I didn't like that one at all. It had like a, a gritty feel to it. So I, I think that's supposed to help you quote unquote exfoliate your skin, but it felt like you're, I don't know, I felt like I felt like I was rubbing my face with sandpaper. I didn't like that. So it does its job. Your face feels clean after you use it. So I guess it's doing its job. Um, yeah, it is seven fluid ounces and it comes in at 20 bucks. So if you're a guy and you're interested in keeping your face fresh, <laughs> then and you're in the market for a facial cleanser, then definitely check this one out. You can either or order it online or if you drop into a Sephora. It's $20 so it doesn't break the bank. It's nowhere near what girls spend on facial cleansers. Uh, I see multiple hundreds of dollars. There's some of them but yeah nice resp respectable facial cleanser for the manly man these days. So yeah that comes in at number four. The Jack Black Pure Clean Daily Facial Cleanser. All right so coming in at number three picture this. It's a hot day. You're either outside or sweating your balls off inside a gym. And then you feel like, you know what? I want to feel like a badass right now, uh, but I don't know how. Well, the solution is easy. You have Under Armour compression shirts. So uh, this is the Spider-Man one. I also have an Iron Man one. So what compression base layers do is that they transfer the, transfer the heat directly from your skin outside the compression shirt. So you don't get that like sticky feel what you, what, either when you're outside 
or where you're at the gym pumping iron and you know that like scene that you always see in like comic books or movies where the superhero is kind of like in his normal clothing and then something really bad's happened or he has to go like rescue a girl and he like rips off his shirt and there's like the logo underneath that's kind of like how i feel every single time i wear this and i'm taking off like the t-shirt that i have over top i feel like a superhero uh, when i'm wearing this and it's just i don't know gives you a couple more pounds or get an extra, an extra rep at the gym. So yeah, this is the Spider-Man one. Um, even though my favorite hero, superhero is Batman, uh, the, the Batman one I found is kind of plain and I didn't want to kind of cop out and just get the generic Superman one, I just thought. And the Spider-Man and the Iron Man one look cool, so yeah. Um, that's the front. Here's the back. Uh, this one's made by Under Armour, like I said and it's licensed, so it's a bit expensive at $60 a shirt, but if there's something out there to help you make you feel like a superhero, I say, just go for it. It makes, it's well worth the money, in my opinion. So that comes in at number three, superhero compression shirts by Under Armour. All right, coming in at number two, number dose, uh, we have nothing. Once again, one of those situations where I have nothing to physically show you, uh, but I am a huge Destiny fan. I play a lot of Destiny. I have put over probably 1,100 hours into the game to date. And this last month, I actually found my very first Galahorn. And then the next week, I found my second Galahorn. And then two weeks later after the second Galahorn, I found my third Galahorn which makes me completely set. Every single one of my Destiny characters now has a Galahorn to use, and I'm just like, pew, 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 pew. wolf pack rounds, bitch. <laughs> it's, just, it's just so awesome firing that thing, and it never gets old every single time you shoot one. It's, I know it's nerdy, I know a lot of you guys don't like Destiny, but I do, and I am having a blast. Maybe It might be because it took me so long to find one that I can truly, enjoy it and respect it is just I don't know it's just something that I absolutely love to have when I am online playing Destiny so that comes in at number two my three Galahorns that I have in Destiny all right so coming in at number one we have this box it says zoom on the front of it what do you think it is did I squish Sonic and fit him into his little black briefcase Possibly. <laughs> so let's open this up. Uh, this is actually an audio visual device that I am going to be using for editing. It looks kind of kind of intense right here coming out of the box. This is called a Zoom H6 portable recorder. So what I use this for is either recording commentary if I'm going to be at an event or if I'm conducting an interview or if I'm shooting a vlog like this. Uh, this obviously I'm not using it right now because uh, my camera has an input uh, for XLR, which is attached to this mic that I am wearing right now. Um, this is more if I'm trying to capture footage or doing interview using a digital SLR, uh, so it doesn't have input, it's a little bit smaller. Um, so this is the H6, which is the flagship device from Zoom. Um, it has four built-in inputs. So there's four different inputs for XLRs, and then you can buy attachment for six inputs. Uh, if you just like attach it right here. So this is really good. It has onboard audio channel uh, adjustments to increase or decrease uh, the gain or how loud the commentary is. And it has a digital monitor for just so you can see your levels, make sure you're not peaking too high or you're too low. Um, it runs on four AA batteries. So very, very portable, as you can see right there. Uh, balled out on some nice energizer batteries <laughs> for you guys. Has an attachment so you can attach it to a camera on the very back. And basically it's like almost the the ideal portable recorder on the go if you're trying to shoot HD footage. Um, I, I really like it a lot. I've shot a, my last two unboxings that I've done on the channel uh, had been using this so I thought the audio quality was pretty good with it. And it has a bunch of other attachments as well. Um, so if you want to let's just say um, if you wanted to conduct an interview with someone, um, you can attach that right there. And then you can put on actually this little boom mic right here to reduce the amount of pop. It's kind of, it acts like a pop filter or a windshield as well. 
Um, so that's handy. Or if you want to do more of a setup for such as something like a, like a traditional desktop microphone, like a Blue Yeti, they also has this attachment right here, which you can use. Um, and what's also nice is that it has a USB attachment right here. Uh, I haven't opened it yet. Um, and if you want, you can actually use it like Yeti. You can attach it to a computer and it will work as a standard microphone. So it, let's just say if I don't want to carry my or pack my Yeti around with me, um, I can just pack one device instead of packing two separate ones, which is, which is really, really nice. Um, overall, it's been, like I said, it's been so handy so far, uh, just being able to capture high quality audio on the go. Um, you do have to do a resyncing to the video a little bit later, um, but in a program such as Adobe Premiere Pro, uh, syncing the audio to match the video is really, really easy. Um, it, has, uh, it captures or stores the audio in an SD card. There's a slot right here. So um, it's a little bit expensive, um, it's around 400 to 450 dollars, um, but it's, it's been, like I said, it's been invaluable uh, to me so far. I actually conducted an interview with uh, the community manager at Bungie uh, using this device, and it just made things so much easier. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes top five favorites for the month of April. Every time, every time like I shoot one of these, it just boggles my mind how quickly another month just passes by. We're just like, we're gonna get, we're gonna keep doing this in like a couple months. It's just, December's gonna come out of nowhere. And then we're gonna be probably talking about a lot of video game stuff uh, since a lot of the video game stuff comes out near the end of the year. But anyways, hopefully you guys will continue to enjoy uh, this series so far and you enjoyed the video. Other than that, thank you guys for watching. As always, have a fantastic day.